On a windswept sandy cape on the western edge of modern-day Alaska, a team of researchers led by the University of Colorado Boulder has discovered something out of place for the region, a prehistoric bronze artifact made from a cast, the first ever found in Alaska. Certainly the biggest surprise in terms of uh, artifact discoveries uh, came uh, this past summer. This, uh, According to CU August, Boulder researcher John Hoffecker, the artifact is a small, buckle-like object that was found in an ancient Eskimo dwelling estimated to be about 1,000 years old. It's a small piece. It's only a, a couple inches uh, in diameter. It's, uh, it's sort of a, look, a kind of rectangular hook with what looks like a, 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 some sort of a ring attached to it which has been broken. Uh, this is the first time we have seen a cast, cast bronze piece um, in this part of the world, in this context, uh, in, these, in these early Inupiat or Eskimo uh, settlements. The artifact was discovered by a team excavating a driftwood constructed house that was built into the side of a sand dune by Inupiat Eskimos at Cape Espenberg, located on the eastern side of the Bering Strait on the Seward Peninsula. They dug the houses into the dunes, shored up the walls with driftwood, which is abundant at Cape Espenberg, one of the reasons why it's an attractive place to live, I think. At first, Hoffecker thought the artifact was much younger, but a small piece of leather attached to it yielded a radiocarbon date of around A.D. 600. But fortunately, there was a small piece of leather that is attached to this object, and uh, that we can date directly uh, by radiocarbon, and it yielded a date of about 1,500 years. Uh, which suggests it's probably at least a couple of centuries older than the house, which we think is probably uh, no more than maybe 1,000, 1,100 years old. But while the leather indicates the object is older than he thought, Hoffecker says the bronze piece needs further research to find out how old it really is. What he can speculate at this time is that since prehistoric bronze metallurgy is unknown in Alaska, it likely was produced in East Asia, possibly in the steppe region of southern Siberia, where people began casting bronze several thousand years ago. Presumably the cast bronze as well as some, some iron pieces are coming from southern Siberia, from the steppe zone. There were people there who had been casting uh, both iron and bronze for, uh, for several thousand years um, prior to the appearance of uh, Eskimo or Nupiat folks in northwest Alaska. The discovery of the object in Alaska tells Hoffecker that there probably was trading going on between settlements in Asia and Alaska or that it was brought over by an earlier settler. It indicates perhaps that there was um, a trade going on across the Bering Strait at this time. Uh, it's also possible that since these folks were uh, early immigrants uh, to the area, since they had recently uh, come over from Northeast Asia, it would seem, that they actually brought this with them. The excavations are part of a National Science Foundation funded project to study human response to climate change at Cape Eskenberg from 800 to 1400, a critical period of cultural and environmental change in the region that may be related to the Earth's medieval warm period that lasted from 950 to 1250. For CU Boulder, I'm Dirk Martin reporting.